Welcome to the first entity cybersecurity talk here in Berlin. And um, I would like to welcome my first three guests for the first round, which are Johannes Drochak, who is a founder and CEO of Sparehead Management, social media influencer for cybersecurity, speaker, photographer, and part time philosopher. So thanks a lot for joining us today, Johannes. We have Hans Willem Dünn, the Cybersecurity Council Germany. Um, with a strong background in business and politic, uh, in politics and also interested in various interesting uh, trendy topics like smart society, smart healthcare, smart energy and all the other things and also an innovative thinker. Welcome. Thank you. And then we have Patrick Schraut, um, part of the NTT team, heading the <coughs> consulting in um, continental Europe. Um, he's a security veteran and a disruptive thinker and always questioning the status quo. So welcome, Patrick. So the first topic we want to discuss today is about the IT security failure as a team effort. So you know, we see massive investments in cybersecurity. We still see a lot of breaches and incidents happen. So we have to question, has the security industry at the end not succeeded or do we fight on the wrong hill? We as IT experts, as IT industry, but also as IT department integrated into a company, have failed to act as a team player ourselves because we were the special ones. We know something that nobody else knows, right? We have, we have disassociated ourselves from the rest of the world, the rest of the organization. And now we have a problem catching, and, uh, catching up and, and closing that gap, become a part of the team again, become a team player again and have everybody on board with our mission. Save the company from cyber breaches, keep the data secure, the privacy, keep that secure, new regulations. We have to close that gap and bring people back to us, back to us, become a team again. That's our big task, I think, for the, for the coming years. Oh, in so from that perspective, yes, we failed, but not as a technical. Not on a technical side, but because we separated uh, security from the rest of the organization. Exactly. How do you see that, uh, Hans? Yes, I can underline it. I think it's a translation topic, yes, because um, I would say 99% of the decision makers in Germany or in Europe or in the world, from the politician side, from the industry side, they say cybersecurity is a very important and sexy topic. Yes, I saw it the last two days in Davos, everybody knows the word cyber. But 7% of these decision makers invest with a budget for cybersecurity. And uh, I think that is a big problem, that we have a very technical operative discussion. We have a lot of conferences, a lot of techie guys, mm -hmm. yes. And, um, but the decision makers, yeah, the old, for example, in Germany, the backbone of the German industry mm -hmm. are the SMEs. Mm -hmm. That are family-oriented companies, yes. They spend the money for good marketing, for sales and so on, but they don't understand that's the process enabling is cybersecurity. Mm. Without IT, you can produce nothing. And I think that is the first step, yes, to generate awareness on the decision maker level. Okay, that's, uh, and you, you touched base already on technology and uh, the belief in technology to, choose to help us with the cybersecurity. Patrick, you're in your day-to-day -day life, what is your experience on that? Uh, especially regarding technology, I think the biggest issue is that we are, or we were trying to throw technology at everything. So we had a lot of issues, cybersecurity issues, and what we did, we were throwing technology. Um, you know, I'm always preaching, I think with technology that we're doing for the last 20 years, and just naming three of them, segmentation, identity management, patch management. If you would just incorporate these very old and basic security technologies, we would get rid of 99% of all attacks. But what we are doing today, we are not doing our homework. We are buying all the latest mm -hmm. stuff. All the vendors are there. If you look on the security market, it's, it's huge. And you get new products every day to patch stuff instead of fixing it. And, and I think that's, that's one of our issues here. And, and, and that, that brings us to the next issue, basically. The technical stuff is the what and the how. But we don't focus on why. And if we focus more on why as team player, as part of the organization, as, as, as advocates for cybersecurity, why are we... Do we really have to do this? Why do we have to protect the smallest company just as much as the biggest company? And why can we do that with simple steps? Three basic concepts. 
That's when we're going to start winning. Fully agreed. But, but the, the business, in many cases, the business doesn't even talk to the IT security guys. You know, because in the past, you know, there's this old saying, innovation is important for everyone, but the no in innovation is coming from the security guys. Mm -hmm. So th th that's something we need to change. They are not even asking us. Yeah? So we need to show them, see, everybody, and I mean really everybody's using online banking nowadays, right? Uh, we couldn't do it without security. Remote access, home office workers, or everything that we are preaching, this couldn't be done without security. And that's not what we are preaching. We're saying no, no, no. Yeah, and and you, Hans, you flagged already the, the backbone of the German economy, the, the mid, upper mid-market, the engineering companies, etc. So why do you think they are not um, buying into that concept? As a, I call it, a, uh, security by design from the beginning, involving security, or on the other hand, why they have not the security teams connecting to the business. What is your um, experience, Bayer? I think we have only one chance that we can um, generate it together with regulation and certification. Because it's normal, if I buy an aircraft, mm. I want a safe landing, a happy landing, yes? And uh, I think we need the same in the field of security by design. We need new rules and we have to open the box that we say, okay, if I buy soft or the hardware, then um, I want to, to watch in. That is very complicated, I know, that's not easy. But um, if you look in our systems, it's at the moment not possible to understand and control our own systems. Yes, and when I go to the German Telekom, for example, with the main supplier of a Huawei, then I would say we need new possibilities to open the box and to say, okay, if you design something, please make it secure. I like, the, I like the, the, the airplane analogy because with the airplane you want a safe landing, yes. not the first one, not the 50th, mm. 50th one, the thousandth one, you still want the same safe yes. landing and, and you want the pilot to do the checklist the hundred thousand yeah. time with the same level of attention, attention that he did it the first time. And this is what you want to build into your IT infrastructure, into your security, into your data, into all your tools, that that design for security, that security by design is there every time. It doesn't matter where you use it or how you use it, the safe landing. That's what we want yeah. to achieve. And in combination with a good awareness philosophy, yes, mm -hmm. with a new spirit, yes, yes, for the employees. I think 80% of our problems are housemate, yes. Mm -hmm. I think we have to speak with the people in the cafeteria and you have to cook a hacker soup, yes, and they say, hey, you have a problem if you have not the right password. And yes. that, that brings us back to my original statement, the team player, because this is part of our challenge, that we have acted like the goalkeeper in the football team. Yeah. We even wear a different shirt, right? It's, it's us and, 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 yeah. The, yeah. and we need to get back into the team, speak the same language that people come to us and, and want to know an answer to the question and don't come to us with fear of hearing no, yeah. the no in innovation. That's, that's a big, big role for us, for the IT and the security provider. Fully agreed. I just have one thing to caution. We are always talking about awareness. And I, I think we shouldn't overdo it. If, if you look back, we had this, this outbreak in some hospitals, uh, hospitals in Germany, I think it was two years ago. Mm -hmm. And the day after in the press, everybody said, oh, we do more awareness, more awareness. And I think that's the easy way out. And in this case, there were some nurses who clicked on attachment and then uh, a virus spread. You know what? They are nurses. They are saving lives. They shouldn't burden to think about, oh, can I open that now? Is it secure? Whatever. So it's, it's our task to, to give them the environment where they can safely work. So yes, awareness, fully agreed 100%, but we should know about it. We shouldn't always say, ah, oh, not our fault. We need more awareness. It's the users. I fully agree. I yeah. fully agree. So, so we have the session on awareness in, in one of the others. We have only a few minutes left. So if you, if you think about the failure, what would be if I have one statement from each of you about what would be the key recommendation to companies, independent of the size of the companies, what they should do different to fight the, on the right hill, to do the right things to improve that situation and not spending money on something that will, is not worth um, spending on? Um, for me, it would be um, that it's a team effort yeah. and it's more than just technology. It's everybody must be involved. We carry this together or we fail together. That's my, my key point. Yes, I think it's important to know what is important for me, what is um, what I have to save. Mm -hmm. And um, then I think it's very important 
um, to work together with specialists, yes, and perhaps with special tools that they can help me uh, to make my job. And um, I think that is, uh, in your combination, um, the right thing. Exactly the same. If, if you are sick, you go to a doctor, to a specialist, get help here. I mean, if you do a security program right, you're doing it exactly once. Where would you yeah. get the knowledge from if you haven't done it before? Do the right thing, don't invest in the latest trends. Trends are counterproductive for information security. These are long-term programs. And, and go and do that in, instead of uh, running behind the latest stuff. So thank you very much for the first session about IT security as a failure as a team effort. We need team play. We should not follow the trends and we should work hand in hand from the beginning. So thanks a lot for the first um, cybersecurity talk at Entity Securities University here. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.